oscillators or LFOs, whatever you, you wanted to do. If you had it set up playing saxophone, you could put a growl into the saxophone or whatever. It's pretty trick. They go for like 5,500 bucks. Everything actually here is for sale, but uh, I won't do a big sales spiel, but if you're interested, mm -hmm. let me know. Um, so that's been pretty fun. I'm not really a keyboard player. And then you can set it up to play uh, like a single pitch, like when, when uh, Jordan Rudis plays it, I'll often put it in a single pitch mode, and he'll go like this, and then up to here, and he'll do a portamental to do a slide between the notes. You can do different settings on this. This, uh, maybe a lot of people have seen is a Tenorion, so I don't know how much to go into that or not. The Tenorion, uh, let's do a quick load up a song here. Well, actually, I'll do it by uh, demoing here. Uh, I can change the layers. It has like 16 layers of, of instrument that it can play. On the first few layers, it's a sequencer type thing where I can go across and uh, somehow or other the volume's gotten really low. Uh, I'll try to set that different later. And then it should go up, it does different things. Like this is a layer that does that. There we go. <coughs> and then you can uh, kill each layer. And then let's see, another layer at top is like a solo layer. Depending where you are, anyway, there's different patterns. Uh, there's a layer that is that. Let's find a, a cool layer here. Let's see, one more. Oh, well. As people have been touching it, also settings get changed a little bit. So uh, it's pretty fun. You know, if somebody doesn't really know music and wants to play, it's like really, everything's all built in. Really, you can sit there and play it for hours and it sounds like. <laughs> Sometimes. Really quickly here, let's uh, plug in this thing. This is a digital trumpet. I'm actually a French horn player, mm. so all these other things I can't really play. But this lets me plug it into a synthesizer. I don't even need the mouthpiece plugged in because it doesn't really detect my buzzing like a French horn would have. In this case, it's... So let's make it sound like a saxophone, which is the best sound. You do vibrato with a thumb trigger. And you can make it sound a bit vicious. The buttons on the side here are set because in a normal trumpet, you know, when you're playing a reveille or something, you just do it with your lips, there are no valves. In this case, there's you, you don't, it just detects pressure, but it can't detect what my lips position are in. So I do a, it does like a C, G, C, G. And it's that. And so it's an MDT digital trumpet made in Australia. <laughs> and one more, how about? Let's do, uh, this is a harmonic table keyboard. So I'm not a keyboard player. I don't know how to play piano. And so when I looked at this, I thought, well, I can play a minor chord that way, major chord that way. It's all set up so everything's in patterns. And once you learn how to finger one scale, you'll learn how to do them all because it's exactly the same. Da -da 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 -da. And then whatever key you go to. And then like me, I'm a Hutton Peck keyboard player in effect. And so I can go, well, I want to do uh, uh, whatever. If I take, take this note, any note around it sounds good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and so as I record with the continuum, you know, some spacey sounding uh, Indian black layer or something, then I'll start you know, playing on the top of this. Uh, I'm going to call it a harmonic table keyboard made by see-through music. And it's playing through a uh, wild PC2R synthesizer. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Any real quick questions? Cool. 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 Thanks. <laughs>